Hi, I'm Liz. Thank you for joining me today, wherever you are. Today's movement video is going to focus on just one move. It's one of my favorite moves to do. I often, you know, I might do this maybe two to three times throughout the week. And it's something that I love to eventually start to teach the people that I work with, so my personal training clients. A great way to strengthen your whole body. So if you are really wanting to work on core strength, on full body strength, flexibility, mobility, strength, stability, this is, I believe, one of the best moves to do. Um, it takes, it works the whole body, you're using the whole body. And what's really cool is you're learning to get on and off the floor with load. So as we start to age, which is just something that we can't stop, it's really important that we can continue to get on and off the ground. And if we're able to do that with load, that's even better. So we're gonna go through it today. I'm gonna to show you the move first, and then I'm gonna break it down for you and give you little tips. Um, though, so if you've never done it before, just where you can begin and then gradually start to, to build it up as you start to get stronger, um, as you start to get a little bit more a little bit more mobile if that's an issue for you. So I learned this move, I think about six or seven years ago from um, a pretty amazing kettlebell instructor down in Melbourne, Andrew Reed. And I really love the way that he taught us really breaking it all down, uh, making sure that we're getting each part of the move. It's really important that this move isn't rushed. It is a really slow move. It takes a lot of focus and a lot of concentration so it kind of works the whole body on all levels. So your body and your mind as well. Uh, we started learning, or I started to learn it with a shoe. <laughs> and just from doing it with a shoe, the next day I woke up and I had like the sorest butt ever. And that was just from using, using a shoe, just to get, the, get, the, um, get used to, to doing the move. So I'm gonna show you, first of all, I'm gonna show you how I would do it with a weight, and then we'll start to start to break it down. So I'm gonna use a kettlebell today. It's one of my favorite things to use when I'm training. And ah, so it is coming from lying down on your back, holding a weight up overhead, and then you come all the way to standing, that's half of the move, and then you make your way back down to the floor. So I'll show you, we might go, side. So you lie down and really important that when you are using a weight, especially as you start to get heavier, um, the weight starts to get heavier, that you're not just kind of clumsily picking it up and then bring it up into the air. So you want to roll to the side that you are going to be using the weight with, grab the kettlebell or the dumbbell or whatever you're using, and then use both hands roll onto your back so you're still holding the, the weight with both hands and then press it up overhead so really important that you've got elbow uh elbow your shoulder your elbow and your wrist in alignment and this arm it never goes floppy so you're always kind of activating it like you're pressing it up towards the ceiling so first of all i'll just show you the move and then we will break it down first part of the move and then to get back down to the floor you reverse it. And then bring the weight down to the side, both hands, roll to that side again and then you do the other side so and then you would flip that around to the other side and that's your beginning position for the opposite side. So that is one Turkish get up. I'm gonna take my necklace off just to gonna keep flinging around, break it, and just set that to the side. Okay, so let's put the weight aside 
and then come to a shoe. So I won't be able to do it with this shoe because it's not actually a proper shoe, it's my cycle shoe. So when I learned this, we were having to do it with the shoe on our knuckles like that and holding the shoe up like that. I don't know if I'll still be able to, to do it. I haven't done this for a little while. So the main reasoning for that is because we want the wrist to stay nice and aligned. That's pretty important. And we want this whole arm to stay active. So you're not just kind of like, oh yeah, I've got it up there and then I'm just gonna let it flop down. Keep pressing it up and then keep your shoulder down away from the ear. So what's really cool about this move is, yes, you're strengthening the core, but you're also getting all the awesome muscles around the shoulder, like the rotator cuff muscles, to help stabilize and hold the shoulder down and in place. And then your body moves around the shoulder. That's pretty cool, or around the arm. And then second part, the same leg as arm, so your arm that's up, that leg is going to be bent with the foot pressing into the floor. Let me just come back this way a little bit. And just a little bit out to the side, so it's not kind of in line with the um, hip joint. Just kind of step it out just a little bit. And then the other leg is straight. And then again, just a little bit out to the side. So you're not kind of in nice alignment. It's sort of like, um, think of like a bit of like a tripod or something like that, but there's only two, so it's not really a tripod, so <laughs> but more just on the angle, just a little bit. Okay, so we're pressing the, the weight up. Remember, it's really important. So a shoe to start with, it's super light. You're not gonna have much feedback, but when you've got a heavy weight overhead, uh, you don't wanna be having the arm not being active. And then the opposite arm that's not holding the weight is gonna come out to the floor, and then again, just a little bit out to the side. So we're gonna use this foot, so the foot, the leg that's bent, we're using that foot, that glute, and then this forearm to get ourselves up and our core. So it's basically a crunch as we start up with a little bit of rotation as well. So we're gonna do the first part of the move. This is a great place to start and just practice doing this because this part is actually quite challenging uh, for a lot of people. I know even when I first started, it was challenging for me. I'm gonna press into the heel that's on the floor, press into the forearm that's on the floor, and then come up to the forearm. So you notice here, that arm is still really active. I've lifted up like that. And then roll it back down. And then again, press through the heel, press through the forearm here, come up, and then back down. So I would start there, maybe do five on each side. And what's really cool is it's basically, you know, you're strengthening that glute as well. And then using the obliques, using the core, using this arm to push up. Okay, so that's the first part of the move. And then what we would do next, we pr again, do that first part. So we press up to the forearm and then we want to press into this hand. Press up like that. And we're up nice and tall. You're not kind of just like hanging out in the shoulder joint there. Make sure you lift it up like that. And then it's basically a single leg bridge from here. So we're gonna lift up. So we're pressing through that foot that's on the floor. This arm is still pressing up. And we're pressing down into this palm. So holding here. And then lower back down. Bend through the elbow. And then lower back down with control to the floor. So we'll do that again. So find that position. You can even do this without a weight. Really important that you know just how to do this before adding load. So press into the foot. Keep pressing the shoe up or whatever you've got. Press into the palm, lift up. And then press into that foot, lift the hips. Good. Then lower back down, back to the forearm, back to the back. Okay, let's add on again from that. So find that position. You can see how you can sort of have this, might have a sore butt tomorrow if you do this enough times, even without a weight, because uh, it is using, <laughs> using a lot of muscle, so we're using the whole body here. So press into the heel, lift up, keep pressing up, press into the palm. Good, this whole time, lightly drawing the belly button in. Now we're gonna press into uh, this heel again, lift up. Now you always just wanna make sure with this arm that as you lift up, when you come up, again, you've got that nice alignment. So elbow, shoulder, and wrist lined up. Now your option is to keep that bottom foot on the floor when you do this, or an 
option is to lift it up like that. So that's sort of a little bit more of an advanced option. Eventually though, what we're gonna do is press up. So you might be lifted, you might be on the floor and then swing that leg through like that. <laughs> so this is where it takes a little bit of mobility and flexibility to come up. Now from this position, so we'll just sort of go back through that again. So press into this palm, you wanna lift up, press into that foot that's on the floor and then lower down to the hips, come back to the forearm and then back to the back. Okay, let's add on to that again. So pressing to the heel, press it up and then pressing. See how this takes a lot of focus, it takes a lot of concentration and I'm kind of constantly looking up to that hand up there that's in the sky or in the sky that's pressing up towards the ceiling and then press into the foot lift the hips swing that leg through just do that again so you come back to that position lower back down we'll stay here press through the heel lift the hips up and then swing that leg through all right we're going to add on to here so then we're going to just sort of press the hips back a little bit press into this foot come up to this position. Now, to get into this sort of half kneeling lunge position, we want to swing this back leg around like that. There are a couple of different versions of this where you move the front leg. I like to move the back leg. So we're going to do it like that. And then this arm, just want to check in, it's still pressing up. The shoulder is down away from the ear. So let's reverse that. So. Uh, then this will make sense as well as we start to make our way back down from the top position. So to get back into that position we're just in, this back leg is going to swing in like that. That gives us that room then to tip and bring that arm down to the floor. Press into this leg, swing that leg through and lower down. Alright, let's do that again. You can notice here my arm's kind of doing that. Make sure it's up like that. All right. Press into the foot, lift the hips, swing the leg through, press the hips back just a little, and then coming up, swing the back leg around, and just you wanna tuck those toes like that, because that then puts you in a good position to press through the front foot and come all the way to standing. Have you dropped the shoe yet? <laughs> I dropped it many times when I first started beginning, when I first started this. So we're now in, a standing position with the weight overhead so you've got the arm up but the shoulder is down so I'm not kind of hunching up like that it's locked back in and down and we've just got all this awesome movement through the shoulder joint uh, all the muscles switching on to help stabilize that position so super super cool okay so we're going to start from the top now and reverse our way back down so that um, opposite leg that's not holding the weight we step back as if we we're gonna do a lunge, and we are gonna do a lunge. So you're gonna lower that back knee all the way to the floor. The toes are still tucked, and then swing that leg in, or windshield wiper that leg in. That puts you in a good position to have enough space to lower down to the ground. Bring that hand down, make sure you're in a strong position here. Wrist, elbow, shoulder aligned, and then press into this foot. Lift up, we've gone through this quite a few times already. Lower back down bend through the elbow and then lower back down to the mat. So that was one Turkish get up. So we're going to come all the way back up to standing again. I know I didn't just do a Turkish get up but we'll start from the top. So really press up, hold that arm up strong, draw the belly button in. I might do it from the front position here. So holding here, step this leg back. Good. Lower the knee down to the floor swing the back leg in like that good and then this hand comes down to the mat you see we've got that nice alignment press into this foot don't be afraid you might need to kind of move your leg around a little bit as well so if you need to do that do that and then press into the foot lift the hips and then that option you can bring that leg down to the ground as you start to get a little bit stronger you can keep it lifted lower down and then to the elbow and then all the way down to the mat if I was holding a weight, we would then lower this down to, towards the chest, roll to that side, and then swing it around, and then we would do it, all that again on the opposite side. So you can see how this is 
a full body move. So now I'm going to get the weight. I'm going to do the other side. So, so roll to the side, both hands holding the weight close to the body, both hands help to lift it up. Really important, you don't want to go dropping anything on your face. All right, so we've got that, make sure it's in a stable position. And as you do start to get stronger, we're holding here. So we're doing the opposite side this time, press into the leg, lift it up, and then press into the hand. And again, don't be afraid if you need to move things around a little bit, lift the hips, swing the leg through. Good, so keep looking up, come all the way to that half heel position, swing that back leg out. I need to shuffle this foot in a little bit, and then press through, come all the way to standing. Reverse it, step back, lunge down, windshield wiper the leg in, bring the hand down to the mat or to the floor, and then lift it up, lower it down, and then all the way down to the mat, roll it to the side. So it is a full body move. It is literally working every single part of your body, including this amazing thing between your ears, helping to build concentration, helping to build focus, helping to build strength physically and mentally. Um, and just an amazing, amazing move for your core, for your lower back, for your glutes, for your shoulders. Um, highly recommend trying to learn how to do it if you have any questions, please reach out. Um, happy to help and guide you if you need. And it's so much funner than just doing crunches, right? I think crunches are one of the most boring exercises in the world. Do something like that and you get way more bang for your buck and you're gonna build more actual functional strength in your body, which is so necessary um, as we start to as we start to get older and again I know I'm repeating myself but being able to get on and off the floor with load is super super important um, so that is the Turkish get up play around with it uh, start with a shoe start with a water bottle and you can literally like you can get super super strong doing this move and you'll be surprised at how quickly you can progress and just how much weight you can actually hold uh, in the air getting on and off the ground. It's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty powerful move. I know there's you know, a lot of men, they use a child or even women, um, a barbell. You got men doing you know, eight kilos plus kettlebells lifting up. Um, I think I'm up to about 20 kilos at the moment. That's 12 there, but really, really powerful move. Uh, so have a beautiful, beautiful day. Enjoy, practice that, getting on and off the ground with load. Break each part down. So it's not a rushed move. It's not something you would do for time, as many as you can. You know, don't even think about it like that. This is a slow, controlled move. And I really want you to focus on every single part of that move. Even if it means you've got to work through it really slowly and just do one part at a time and then add on to it like we did at the beginning. Do that, learn the move really well and you'll be feeling stronger all over in no time. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time.